Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I should also say happy new years to you all. I want to apologize because I have not created a video and posted one for you guys and I want to say about a week or two but I am back. I had a young lady comment on my video I want to say a week or two ago actually in regards to how to create a password protected page through wix.com so that's exactly what i'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video so i hope that you guys enjoy because this is also something that i wanted to know and was like on the hunt for when i was trying to create mine the way that i will be showing you guys how to create this password protected page is the way that i had figured it out there may be another way who knows but i will be only sharing with you guys my way and how to do it so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. I want to say hi and welcome to all of my new subscribers. This is the first video that you guys are seeing on my channel. Please be sure to subscribe because there will be many, many more videos just like this. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think at the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. So without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and just jump right into the video. Alright guys, so this is my Wix dashboard right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and just click one of my sites for you. So this is my cosmetics line color looks. This is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, what I'm going to do right now, you probably can't see. Down here it says edit site. You're going to want to edit your site based on whatever you have. So once it loads, it's going to take you to your site in its editing mode whenever it decides to load now if you're looking to create a password protected page this is the way that i learned how to do it i'm not sure if there's another way but this is the way that i've done it and the way that i learned so that's the way i'm going to teach you so this is my home page to my site, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go up there to where it says um, like page and there's a drop down. So what you wanna do in this instance is you wanna go to manage pages and you're gonna wanna go to add a page. So this add a page, you can put whatever you want it to be. So for example, I'm gonna just put, I'm gonna do coming soon. And then you want to click done. So this page is, it's going to default to whatever like template you have. But a trick that I usually do, click on like the three dots and go to settings and then right here. So when you're under settings and you're under that page, go to layouts and then click no header and no footer so that it changes it to a completely blank page. So once you do that, now you can edit your kind of password protected page however you want. So you can add whatever picture as the background. You can add um, just different little elements. So what I usually do, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my actual password protected page so that you guys can see because I'm not going to go ahead and design it right now for you guys. Um, you guys should be familiar with how to design. Um, you simply just go to here, you go to add, and then text, image, um, so forth and so on, buttons. So I'm just going to show you the one that I already have right now. So I already have a coming soon page. Where is it? I think it's this one. So this is mine. This is my coming soon page that I had already created and designed for a previous launch of mine because this is what I usually do for each of my launches um, is that I create this to capture all those emails. So once they type in colorlux.com in their browser, it's going to send them directly to this page. It's not going to show them my home page. That's the whole point of the password protected page. So what I simply did after I did that like whole solely solely um header and footer i searched on pixabay like colorful smoke and i chose this background and i uploaded that as the background and you can do that by right clicking on the page and clicking change page background upload your image and then as for this all i did was go to the add icon and i went to image image uploads uploaded my logo which you should have already on your site and then i put my up my logo on there and then i expanded it to whatever size i wanted 
And so this right here, this is also under here. This is super important because obviously on this password protected page, when you're about to launch something, or if you just want this to be the page that your customers or future customers um, land on prior to you launching, this is what you need to capture those emails. So to do this, all you have to do is go to add again. And then I think it's under box. No, it's not. Give me one second. It's under contact and forms. So this I kind of customized and did myself. You can click any one of these boxes and you can eliminate um, you can eliminate other boxes. So I have different reasons for each box. So this one's a contact box. This one's a payment box. This one's multi-step donation sales lead. Um, job application support, testimonial, feedback, so forth and so on. So you want to kind of see which one um, fits what you're trying to, what your end goal is. So this one right here is a, to subscribe. That's essentially what you're going to want to choose because um, you want people to subscribe to your email list. So for example, this is what I'm going to show you. This green box right here is the one that I had chose to create this. Um, but all I did was I changed the background to like a light gray white and then I um I lowered the the opt optis I can't say that word. Like I lowered so it's not super super white so that you can kind of still see that background image peek through. Um I also added some text right here to say when the launch was um, that it's exclusive only to my site and to sign up for offers and our launch date, so forth and so on. And then the container boxes, you can either add container boxes um, depending on what you want for it to be required. You can turn it on to be whether you want it, whether you want that box to be mandatory, required, or not required. Um, and then their phone number, whatever you kind of want. You can do name, you can do email, phone number. I just chose to do these two. Um, and then you can also add a submit button and then change the text on the submit button to however you want it to be. And then just a simple things for submitting. So this is what I used. And then as you can see, it obviously looks different because I customized it to what I want it to be. And that's exactly what you're going to essentially want to do. Or by all means, you can leave it the way it shows right there. But obviously, branding is super important when it comes to your site um, and to your brand and whatever you are planning on doing with your site. But this is how you create your password protected page. This is the way I did it. Now, the trick to this is so that it shows onto your site is by doing this. So the last step after you've created it all, everything looks good. You've checked to see if it, it it's mobile optimized as well, because that's also important because the majority of your customers are probably going to be shopping mobile. Um, once it's optimized both on desktop and mobile, you're going to want to go back to up here, up to this drop down. And then, like I said, the trick to this, you're going to go back to manage pages. And on your coming soon page, you see how there's like a, a little eye here that's crossed out. That's because currently right now, I'm not launching anything. So I have it hidden. You, you're going to want to unhide that. And by doing so is by clicking these three little dots and by making sure that it is visible and you're making it shown, like you're showing it to the people. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do after you unhide it and you make it visible is you're gonna to go to settings once on, on the page. You're gonna to wanna to go to settings and then you're gonna want it, then you're gonna to want to make, um, you're gonna to wanna to hide it from the menu and menu is like on your site because this is, technically like another page hide it from your menu because you don't want like a coming soon page on the menu to your actual home page and set it as your home page um and then once you actually launch all you have to do um is go back into here go back into your settings under the page info and then make your home page and set that as the home page i'm I hope that makes sense. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but um, right now, as of right now, this password protected page, you don't want anyone to see your actual site. So you want to make this the home page that everyone lands on once they click colorlux.com or whatever website that they're looking up. 
Um, but once you launch that and once you want people to see your actual website, you want to take this down and you want to unset that as your home page and then set your actual home page as your home page. Um, I hope that makes sense. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but that's simply just how you do it. Um, it's not that hard. It's super simple. I think the hardest part about this is actually just designing your actual homepage, but that concludes how to create your password protected page. Again, I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that I explained it easy enough for you to understand. Um, I didn't want to actually do it so that you guys can see it right now because my site is obviously live. I don't want to mess up anything on my site or if someone's currently live on my site, then see this password protected page. But um, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to either comment down in the comment section below. Um, I love responding to your guys' comments. Um, give me some feedback on this video. Feel free to message me on my personal Instagram that I have that I will be um, that I have also linked down below. Let me know what you guys would love to see next. Um, I always love hearing what you guys want to see. It makes my life easier on what to create for you guys. But again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.